Hello, welcome back. Okay, I want to talk about a depression here. People ask me how I deal with it, what they recommend, or, um, and then the one woman that asked me how to deal with it with her son. Okay, so <clears throat> I know we're taught that depression is a bad thing. It's a mental illness. It's a you know, it's an indicator that uh, something's not right in your head and you're suffering a chemical imbalance. Truth be told, there is zero scientific evidence that proves any chemical imbalance other than that which was induced after you were lured onto those drugs. Now, you think they help you cope. Okay, well, you know, I'm skating by and now I don't stand up to the person who's bullying me or say, uh, now I say yes when I really mean no because I was, you know, just such a jerk when I said no or whatever the case may be. And then you have a whole other host of problems. You're not actually coping. What you're doing is resetting your system, your intuition, your soul path into the matrix. So let's talk about depression from a different level. And if you want like herbs or oils or this and that um, to help with that, patch up. But it's good to have a crutch. I'm definitely not knocking it. Um, go see my other videos on depression and shows, and I share a whole bunch of different oils and herbs that can help you with that. What I'm going to talk about here is the deeper meaning of deep pression, okay? Are you experiencing deep pressed emotions? Did you stuff them down so deep? because society told you not to feel, that there's something wrong with you if you cry, or if you say no, or if you act out, or if you feel sadness or anger? Mm -hmm. Or are you in need of a deep rest? Many of you know, I've been on a huge period of detox, and with that, certainly, absolutely, came depression. Depression is not something out of your control, and it's not something that needs to be fixed, or pushed aside, or erased, or made you to feel like there is something wrong with you. What it is, in fact, is an indicator that whatever you are living is not in alignment with your true path. Okay, so most of us, we, uh, let's say we grow up in a difficult home environment, and let's say we ask a few questions, and then we get locked in a closet, mm -hmm. or whatever. We learn to suppress that stuff, right? Or when... Uh, let's say you get abused and traumatized and then you finally cry and then your abuser and traumatizer says that it didn't happen. You need to be hogtied and take this fancy little pill. That'll fix you. So we start thinking there's something wrong with us that has to be fixed or changed. When the truth is, the fix or the change comes by experiencing it and allowing yourself that deep rest to experience, feel, and process those deep, pressed feelings, emotions that you weren't allowed to express for whatever reason is true for you in your life. We all experience that to a degree, right? Everything is a mental illness now. You know, like sitting in classroom all day and you shake your leg, you know, or you whatever, speak up without raising your hand, or you step out of line following the leader, you know, you're labeled, you're diagnosed with, you know, some mental illness. It is not a mental illness to be human. Now, if you're not feeling feelings, expressing them, processing them, chances are you might not be 100 
percent human, or you're taking so many drugs or alcohol that you don't even know what they are anymore, and they become scary, and that's why people that do experience them, yeah, and even share many of them openly, get attacked. That's scary. Oh, my God, you can't feel that way. Oh, you shouldn't feel that way. Really? More often than not, the people telling you that are the people doing whatever is causing you to feel that way, right? Or they are so stuffed up in their own lives, they don't even know what real emotion looks like. By the way, um, my friend recommended a movie to me the other day called The Giver on Netflix. Watch it, okay? And that is what we are living. Obviously, a little bit more subtly, but isn't that how it is? If you're too happy, take a pill. If you're too sad, take a pill. If you're too animated, yeah, take a pill. I must be mentally ill because I'm animated. Really, take that fucking shit up with God, dude, or whoever your creator is, because <laughs> I have the same one, and we're all individually unique, okay? So, depression. What if... You didn't fight it. What if you allowed it? Let me tell you, when I was in the programming that there was something wrong and it has to be fixed and, you know, this and that, like all of us are, and I fought it and fought it, and oh my God, there's something wrong with me and I need to fight this and I'm supposed to be happy even though I'm feeling something else and I really want to just tell this person no, but, you know, oh, that wouldn't be nice. Well... What if you allowed it to process? Okay, so in my time when I fought it, I, it was always there, right? Either you become what you fight or, <laughs> right, what you resist persists. What you embrace, you erase. Look at it. Life sometimes sucks, okay? You're allowed to feel pain. You're allowed to feel depression. You're allowed to feel anger. You're allowed to feel all of these things. And it doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. It means that there's something wrong around you that you're not processing and you need that deep rest to figure out what those feelings are. Feel them, whatever it is, childhood trauma, or you were abandoned just last week, or whatever your fears are, feel it, allow it. When I figured that out, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm not going to try to push it away. I'm not even going to use my essential oils to try to make me feel better or go take a nice salted flower bath or whatever. No, nope, fuck it. I'm going to feel it. What happened? It went away. It had no power over me. It had no control. I was able to heal these emotions that I had harbored, held on to for some of them decades. So why don't you try next time you feel sad or depressed, take that deep rest for yourself to figure out those deep pressed way down feelings that you forgot about or covered up or, you know, use distractions, drugs, alcohol, jobs, families, whatever, responsibilities, volunteer work, right? Yeah, hello, I'm the volunteer queen. Why? Because I was distracting myself and my own pain. And obviously, there's more to it. I love to give. I love to help. I love, you know, to share whatever. It's, you know, it's in me. But... I can see now how my activism and giving and projects and all of this stuff throughout the years in the past were really just a cover-up. I wanted to go help little girls being raped. Well, it's because I wasn't dealing with the fact that I was, and not just by, okay, random people, but the ones that really killed were the ones that I knew and trusted, right? Yeah, well, those were deep pressed feelings that I needed deep rest to overcome and feel and process and okay it's not going to be easy and yeah you might be 
embarrassed or ashamed or, you know, oh, I'm not supposed to feel this way or whatever. Give yourself a fucking permission, a free pass to feel however you feel when you want to. Because after you do that, that's the real healing, okay? Not just some la, 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 kumbaya, cover it up BS, okay? Feel it. And if somebody around you can't take it, fuck them. And to the mother, you know, asking, how do you deal with your son? The depression is so bad. You can't fix it. You can't take it away. What you can do is be a support, be an ear, be a shoulder. Realize that you've been depressed at some point in your life, especially like right now, right? You're wondering, what do I do with my son? How do I fix him? That's depressing. So maybe you could use a little deep rest too. But the worst thing you could do for somebody feeling depressed is try to fix them. However well-meaning your intentions are. Think about this. Most people, when they're depressed, people threaten them with cops. Oh, do I need to go call a professional? You're traumatizing your loved one even more. Think about that. Why don't you be the compassion you speak and be the ear for that person? Hold space. Allow them to feel whatever they feel and don't shame them or guilt them into try to feel something else when life is clearly the way it is for them at that moment. In the long range... Each of these things, I mean, as we know, the universe is always conspiring for our benefit. So if we handle these things properly, which, you know, we're not taught in society. We're taught to battle everything, right? But allow it, and then it goes away. What you embrace, you erase. And then you have new information, and then you can see, oh, wait, I'm tolerating this. Why? Right? Yeah, come on. So... Give it a try. Let me know how it works for you. Stop fighting yourself. Stop telling yourself you're not allowed to be human because some doctor or some psychologist or some pharmaceutical company, you know, played a commercial and, you know, you think you're going to be running around naked in the frickin' daisies and rainbows with unicorns because you take this little fucking synthetic pill. Really? What is that going to fix? By the way, for those of you wanting to learn more about the truth of these drugs, um, go check out Dr. Peter Bregan. And again, if you want, like, essential, I mean, I guess I could throw a few out here, you know, since we're here. But check out my other videos. I mean, lavender is really awesome. Lang Lang, uh, sandalwood, bergamot, orange, rose. And you know what? Whatever you're attracted to as well. But those are super calming on the senses. But again... Uh, check out the other videos. This was more about um, the deeper meaning of deep depression and how uh, just an alternative way of looking at it. And maybe you try it on for size. If you do, let me know. All I know is it's worked for me. So I no longer am battling myself or taking on those those feelings or beliefs that, you know, something's wrong with me because somebody told me I'm not allowed to cry. I'm not allowed to feel pain after being abused or abandoned or betrayed or whatever. Bullshit. You're allowed, more than allowed, to feel it. It's not only your birthright. It is crucial. It is essential for self-growth. All right. Have a good day. Thank you.